Reggie Miller. Natalie Attire arriving. Pre game ritual. Always takes a shot at the end of the shot clock. He able to open up. Now he came back after a bad foot injury, but they need him to get into the pack. Reggie Miller. Right. It's tough to keep it up for 48 minutes. French missing. Three minutes into the game, Kinsley will slow it up. Detroit now over his first four, and Reggie Miller gets three underneath. And in all of the defensive stat at playoff time, you can count on the rotation. O'Neal is three out of five. Here was Reggie. Now that was just a prime time Reggie move as he fades away from Rasheed Wild. Now watch the back door to the left of your screen. Uh, Rick Hamilton was looking for Reggie. Field 10-4. Miller, hanging from the lane. Now that was a high degree of difficulty. Foster, number 10, had a phenomenal rebound performance. Reggie's open. Reggie's open behind the arc. Missing here, Ben Wallace dies for the rebound. Yeah, oh. that time, Detroit points. I mean, if you're a young fellow out there and you're a shooting guard, just watch Reggie Miller and Hamilton working against one another defensively. Watch the effort that they put just to get a catch, an open catch here tonight. Miller. Uh, Foster came out to create the partial screen, and Reggie got free. Well, Reggie's got that meat. There's Elio Castroneves on the left, two-time winner of the Indy 500. And boy, it's a good, it's good to see Sam Hornish on the way as Reggie Miller knocks down a three-pointer. Then they get 38 to 29. So Miller comes back into the game. I don't because Indiana led in the first quarter 14 for Detroit, almost caught up. They led 35 25 here, and then Detroit's almost caught up again. Reggie Miller finds the open spot. Oh, oh. Three pointer. Oh, he's got it right now. He has the field. There's no doubt about it. Now remember, he came into this in this series. Now just watch now. There's your first, there's your second screen. Excellent ball fake. And then fading, fading to the left from behind the three-point line. That right shoulder, he missed 22 games. He came back. You now he's trying to be a warrior about all this and suck up the pain. So you have to be careful. That's why we say in traffic, you know, he might be a little bit of a liability. That's a two-pointer. They're going to change Re Reggie Miller's last shot was changed to a three after it was initially signaled as a two. Yeah, Bill Spooner changed with a big half. O'Neal with a big half. Reggie, 17 points. And right now, 46-39 at the half. Here's Michelle. With Reggie Miller, six of eight from the floor, three of four from three-point range. You haven't shot this well all series. How'd you get it back? Well, I'm getting my legs under underneath me a little bit, and I'm taking my time. Uh, you know, they've been showing out on a lot of screens, and I've been getting some pretty good looks. So hopefully we can get it going in the second half like that. Jermaine O'Neal was really emotional yesterday talking about how much he wanted this for you. He has really responded. How has he done that in spite of the shoulder that's hurting him so much? Well, he's a trooper. He's a gamer. You know, he understands that he's got to play hurt. You know, it's not the time to be crying about, you know, shoulders or whatever. He's a real man. He's coming out and he's showing it. You guys opened up well. They went on a run. You guys have come back with a run. How do you sustain the energy you need? Well, we're going to have to. Uh, they're the world champs, and they've seen things like this before. So every time we make a run, they always seem to be answering our punches. So we got to go on bigger runs, I guess. Thanks, Reg. Thanks, Michelle. All right, Al. Well assessed. Reggie's going to be finished. That's exactly what happened. Here was that originally signaled two-pointer by Bennett Salvatore and then overruled as a three-pointer. So he's three for three from three-point land, 17 in the half for Reggie. The Rise and Wireless Halftime Report, Mike Tirico, Bill Walton, and Snapper Jones, Times Square.
ready with our halftime activities, including YouTube, the Pacers, trying to stay alive. Indiana 46, Detroit 39 at the half. Terrific catches and follow throughs. Now he just came off the stagger, but how about this off balance shot? Now there was a back door. Hamilton lost him. Now watch as he comes in and the fade. See, that's a very difficult angle. And then the short game, the mid range game. Then he gives you the three because he's three for four in threes at halftime. You just love what he's doing now. And then Jermaine O'Neal coming right in as his sidekick to seven for 12 from the field and also the rebounding. What? 31 for those two. The lead is seven. Here's Michelle. Well, I spoke with Larry Brown coming. For two, and it's a three-point game. That's what happens when you switch. When you switch out and Reggie Miller is off, and you have a big man on Hamilton, he will keep his dribble, Allen. If you notice, he came out there two bounces, stretched the defense, shot it right in his face. Miller. He definitely did not towel off at halftime. No, uh -oh. not looking to explode. Anytime that he gets down below the foul line area, he's looking to kick the ball out immediately. In 40 games, he missed. Cruz foot came back for the playoffs. Steven Jackson. Prince knocks it away. They talk about length. You saw it right there, reaching in. Here's Miller. Reggie misses. Rasheed Wallace off the glass. Hard foul. Hard foul. Easy call. Yep. Dale Davis outside. Reggie Miller puts it up. Got it. Reggie Miller is only averaging 10 shot attempts coming into this game tonight. Now, now this is a difficult shot because he's splitting two defenders and he's going right up and he's being challenged at the height of his release. And you saw the, the reaction and the expression of Wallace. The technical foul is on Rashid. Reggie Miller will drop that one. In any kind of a flow, you're now over three from the floor. You just don't come down and transition and shoot up the three when you have a four on three situation. You have to, you know, seek it out and make it happen. There's a guy that can shoot a three. And he's looking for the foul. He's looking and pleading for the foul. Well, he's had a ton of four-point plays most in the history of the end. 337 remaining fourth quarter. Three-point Detroit lead. Back to Reggie Miller's last field goal. You can see right there. See, he extended Prince. See, they've been switching down on that face like Prince is coming out on Reggie. And Reggie knocks it in. That's his fourth three of the evening. And his foot on the line, very close to a three for the two pointer, 24 points for him. Is this the end of 18 great seasons? Just out of the post area. He was not comfortable. But then when you have a percentage shooter in the three-point range like Rasheed Wallace did not hesitate. Reggie Miller. Oh, yes! Oh! And Rasheed Wallace and Detroit taking a timeout. Reggie Miller keeping him in the game. What else is new? Inbounding from the corner. Johnson. O'Neal gets it back. Reggie has it blocked. It was blocked. Big block. And then they end for the backboard of Hamilton and Phillips. They're looking for Reggie. Here goes Reggie, launching a three. Can't get that one. Hamilton gets the rebound, and Foster ties him up for the foul. 15.7, and the crowd right now sensing the end of the series and already beginning right now the chance, the applause, and right now it's all about the end of a career in this building.
And for Detroit, it's all about a vacation. Well, not a vacation. They're going to Florida. <laughs> not on a vacation, <laughs> but they're going to Florida. Prince with a hug of Miller. Hamilton put in the frosting on the cake. Larry Burris wants this team. I mean, all things considered, play unbelievably magnificently. And Carlisle's going to take Reggie out of the game to let him get the ovation and the acknowledgement. And even Larry Brown comes out to all the way down the court. Larry takes a 20 just to let let the crowd. You know how that is so cool. Yes, it is. Larry Brown, who coached Reggie, but Larry is so, so human. He understands if you let player resume, you know, the crowd is back into it, the game winds up, the whole, and Larry calls a timeout so he can bring his team to the other side of the court and join in this. Very, very cool. Well, what, what it is is great respect by his peers, great respect by the opposition, a classy move by Larry Brown, and then the warm. He's been so humble. He's accomplished so much here as a player. You can't even begin to talk about big shots because the list is so long. And then how the work, the man, that he did within the community. They love him here because he was part of the community, not just the player here for 18 years. Johnson misses, and Detroit will run the clock out. They'll go to Miami. Pacers' season is over. Reggie Miller's career is over. Larry Brown coached Reggie. You saw Joe Dumars before. Played against Reggie. Went all the way back. The Reggie chant again at Conseco. That's a career. And even Bennett Sound, even the, the officials. I mean, everybody. It's a total respect. And it ends in the playoff game. And in the game where Detroit wins the series. Carry it, man, and do it for as long as you can. You are the truth, for real, man. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's, that's all. I'm Hamilton to remember those words forever. You know, you do it. You do it for as long as you can. Here's Michelle. Well, all right, guys, I'm here. I don't want to interrupt Reggie too much. I, I don't even know where to begin. What is going through your mind right now? Well, you know, we gave it a valid effort. You know, I thought this was going to be our game if we could have put some pressure on them, which we did early. But unfortunately, you know, the champs rose to the occasion. And that's what they're all about. They played hard and they outplayed us uh, in this series. So you got to tip their hats to them. Tell me what that was, moment was like when Rick Carlisle called the timeout so this crowd could acknowledge you. Well, you know, I, I feel we have the best fans in the world. and. For 18 years, this has been my second home, and they've truly supported me. And as you can see, with no one leaving, it really shows how great of fans and what a city uh, this has been. I've grown up here. Uh, you know, I poured my heart and guts here. You know, it's, it's a class organization here. I saw Jermaine O'Neal sitting on the bench, so disappointed. What are you going to say to your teammates in that locker room? Thank you. You know, obviously my skills haven't been the same for the last four or five years. Uh, you know, I'm honored that they let me play with them for the last four or five years because truly I could have retired three or four years ago, but they let me play with them. Let you? My goodness, tonight you practically carried them. And this crowd right now, Reggie, you hear them one more year. Have you ever even reconsidered?
considered. No. It, it's been a great ride, and uh, unfortunately, it's time to move on to different ventures. And those might include? Probably hanging with you for a little bit, but right now I'm just going to rest and sit back, reflect, and go on from there. Reggie, enjoy the downtime. Michelle, thank you so we much. We wanted to see you continue. Thank you. Best of luck. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Al? Oh, thank you, Michelle. Hubie, final thoughts about the man? One of the greatest shooters ever to put on sneakers. The more the pressure, the higher percentage he shot. Everyone will go back to the New York games where the one night 25 points in the fourth quarter. But it's only one of many magical moments that he has had here, especially in this building. You just cannot count how many big shots that he made. But I just love the way he carried himself as a person on and off the court. He had perfect balance in his life. He's a great teammate. And then, and talk about heroes, he's a guy that all young guys should really take back and, and look at what this man has done. Hard worker and then a great clutch player.